Who is Werther? Well, Werther is a very complex young man. Could be a painter, blank canvas. Could be a traveler. He's a little bit of both. He's a poet. He's a, he reads. He writes. Um, so he's a guy who's searching for something. Um, and he's at a crossroads in his life um, where he can choose either to lead a very ordinary life or try for something very extraordinary. He's one of those people that you run away from at parties. Uh, he's the guy sitting in a corner wearing a black polo neck and fashionable glasses with a little interesting facial hair who's reading Jack Kerouac um, and pretending that he likes it uh, and reciting the lyrics to songs by the Smiths and uh, Virginia Woolf poetry. Uh, and he's the kind of chap who's so in tune with his own feelings that he can't live his life without expressing those feelings to anyone who crosses his path. Uh, he's the kind of chap who, when you're expecting him to do something, won't turn up because he's stopped to look at a sunset or a rainbow. Werther, this man, this, this very weird uh, person, what, what he did in, in his life, the way he felt his love, gave the input to not only to Massenet to write an opera, there are many Verters in the, in the operatic literature. The, the best one is the Verter by Massenet. If you read the novel, you really like him and you can kind of understand why that inspired a spate of suicides, copycat suicides, because he's just deeply, deeply sensitive um, and a modern, modern woman today would think, oh, he's got so many female qualities. Verter's uh, just a guy who is discovering love for the first time. Um, and he's completely overwhelmed by it. His expressions are truthful. He wants the big love, and he, he's very realistic about it in a sense that when he recognizes the big love, the true love, the only one in Charlotte, then he insists. It sort of pans out, and you see the havoc that his oversensitivity creates, and you really would not like to necessarily be intimately involved with the Werther of the opera. He enjoys, I think, the suffering that his unfulfilled love for Charlotte brings. He's, he puts himself nearly at the same level as, as, as God. He's redeemed by having some of the most wonderful music in the piece to sing. No, I've no sympathy with Werther. Whatever, he's a pathetic wimp. But he's a completely wonderful, passionate, uh, very complex, uh, man, uh, full of different layers. He's on a quest. He's a guy on a quest. What starts off as a, as an attraction becomes a, a passion, and then just drives him into the ground. He becomes this sort of strange, mad stalker. But it grows from something that's perfectly natural, which is you know the hopeless love of a young man for someone he can't have. And I think everybody probably has that at some point.